Let's get on over to Jared Blickery, who's over at the Yahoo Finance Interactive. Jared. Well, we see some green on the board today, but that has not been the case for most of the week. And let's take a look at the Dow, which is just barely above the unchanged line right now. You can see it's down about 3.6% over the last four days. Let me just show you a year to date. Uh, you can see now it is actually negative on the year. So having given back all of those gains. Now, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. This is year to date, so it's holding on to 4%. And uh, you can see that's more than half of, uh, excuse me, half of what it's lost here. But let me just show you what it's done over the last four days. And you can see well off the highs down one and a half percent for the week. S&P 500 and the Russell 2000 somewhere in between. Want to get to the sector action today and we are seeing communication services that is in the league. Guess who's in that? Netflix as well as Meta, Verizon, Disney, a bunch of others. Uh, tech also doing well. That's up a third of a percent. Financials, all of those outperforming the S&P 500. To the downside, we've got energy, real estate and utilities. Those are the only sectors in the red. And let me just take a look at what has happened over the last four days. You you can see nothing in the green energy almost there but still down less than a percent industrials took the biggest biggest hit this week uh, followed by utilities staples financials and materials all of those in deep red territory all of those down more than three percent and let's take a look at the leaders index this is going to be what's happened this week bitcoin that's in the number one spot maybe we can take a look at that later uh, home builders actually took the biggest hit followed by cannabis retail uh, regional banks and retail stocks so really interesting week to say to see how how we've given back a lot of these gains that we had built up prior All right. in the year.